Only together will we be able to meet the ambitions of the 2030 Agenda and respond to the global challenges of our times. The United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, recognizes that partnerships are essential for achieving inclusive and sustainable industrial development. ISID Accordingly, the theme of the 17th session of the General Conference was Partnering for Impact, Achieving the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. All the member states, no exception, supported fully our inclusive and sustainable industrial development. I'm very happy that was a great success. The General Conference brought together UNIDO member states and its partners to agree on the strategic orientation of the organization. Day one of the conference began with the opening of the Expo, consisting of five interactive zones. The Innovation Zone, the Knowledge Hub, the Networking Zone, the Youth Zone, and the Digital Media Zone. Virtual reality and various innovations were showcased over the course of the conference, as well as a series of focus group discussions. During the official opening session, the Director General, Li Yang, was reappointed for a second four-year term. Today, I stand before you humbled by the trust you place in me to lead this organization for another four years. I thank you most sincerely for your trust and your support. I congratulate Director General Li Yong for his reappointment. UNIDO plays an important role in addressing today's economic, social and environmental challenges. Your work is firmly anchored in the 2030 Agenda, especially through Sustainable Development Goal 9 on infrastructure, industry and innovation. Over the next four years and beyond, the organization will continue to address emerging issues, such as the impact of the fourth industrial revolution and the promotion of circular economy and green industry. Also at the opening of the conference, the UNIDO Director General and the President of the Swiss Confederation, Doris Lutard, signed a letter of agreement for a Swiss contribution of 17.35 million Swiss francs towards the Global Quality and Standards Program. The new program will establish a stronger link between the interventions in different countries, creating an institutionalized exchange of lessons learned and allowing for a stronger use of synergies through peer learning. A partnership agreement with the Eurasian Development Bank was also signed during the conference with the government of the People's Republic of China announcing a contribution of 24 million euros to UNIDO over the next four years. A major theme of the conference was gender equality. Day one featured the World Women Leaders Talk, which involved the president of the Republic of Malta, Marie-Louise Colero Preca, and the president of the UNIDO General Conference, Elena Kupchina, in a high-level panel discussion underlining the need for political leadership for the advancement of the 2030 Agenda. Agenda 2030 is still a powerful reminder of our collective responsibility to act for an inclusive and sustainable approach. In his second term, UNIDO will integrate and scale up operations. During the 6th UNIDO ISID Forum, the gradual expansion of the Program for Country Partnership approach in Cambodia and Kyrgyzstan was announced. This approach is an innovative country-owned model to accelerate economic growth, create jobs and reduce poverty while protecting the environment. Day 2 featured UNIDO's fourth donor meeting, which highlighted the contribution of donors to UNIDO's work. The meeting included panel discussions focused on some of UNIDO's top donors, including the European Union, Finland, Japan and Sweden. So developing countries can benefit by reshaping their industry in a more sustainable way. Then the first ever TEDx talks to be held in the Vienna International Center focused on the circular economy and provided an ideal platform for UNIDO's multi-stakeholder community to exchange and interact and to explore innovative ideas related to green production. Day 3 opened with a breakfast meeting on Partnering for Impact, advancing gender equality in industry to achieve the 2030 Agenda. Partnerships and working together to combat prejudices and create the necessary structures and policies to support women in entering industry were central to the debate. I believe strongly 
uh, international agenda is very clear, uh, like uh, uh, goal five of the 17 goals. Uh, so really focusing on women empowerment. It is extremely important to involve women into entrepreneurship as a way of their careers development. When we do promote gender uh, equality in development, it is not about money. It is mainly about um, about uh, changing the, the, the minds and attitudes of people. It's time that women step up. It's time that women step up and tell the story, but not just tell the story, inspire other women and help other women. In the afternoon, Unido's side event on Industry 4.0, the opportunities behind the challenge, introduced various new solutions and business opportunities. Whilst focusing on the role of the international community in supporting institutions and enterprises to face the challenges of Industry 4.0, innovative approaches to climate change mitigation and the development of a circular economy are just some of the ways in which these challenges can be addressed. I am designed as a social robot who uses my expressive face to communicate with people. My default emotion is happy. Right, the lifeblood of the planet really is small and medium enterprises, so create um, investment-friendly environments for uh, SMEs. Later on, Unido launched its 2018 Industrial Development Report on demand for manufacturing, driving inclusive and sustainable development. By placing demand at the center of attention, this year's report acknowledges the role of manufacturing industries as major providers of new and improved goods. Day four allowed for a discussion of the implementation of the third industrial development decade for Africa, IDDA3, which UNIDO has been tasked with leading in collaboration with a range of partners. Africa industrialization, uh, I think that is a, a, a right approach to support uh, the countries uh, in the region to achieve the poverty reduction. A side event entitled IDDA3, Helping Africa Leapfrog Its Industrial Development, provided a platform to discuss how best to move forwards with operationalizing IDDA3. UNIDO will continue to work together with partners to address some of the biggest global challenges. Poverty, unemployment, and climate change, ensuring that no one is left behind. My dream, which I shared with you four years ago, is to give young people living in similar poor conditions as I experienced in my childhood an opportunity to play a part like me in the global fight against poverty. This is my dream.